All right, um, in this video, we're going to look at uh, uh, separable uh, ordinary differential equations. Uh, these are typically equations of first order. So, just a bit of uh, background before we go into these. So, the, um, uh, the general first order, ODE, um, can be uh, expressed in one of the following three forms can be expressed uh, as, as follows um, so the first form is we can write it uh, bring everything to the one side and then it's going to take the form f of x y and y prime is equal to zero okay i'm going to call this form equation one in this video um then uh, alternatively what we could do uh, is in equation one we could make y the subject uh, so making y the subject um, then uh, we can write it in the form y prime equal to f of x y let's call this one equation 2 um, so obviously as you can see this f is not necessarily going to be the same is that f there um, then lastly what we can do um, is if we write y prime as dy dx um, and uh, and clear fractions as it were um, then our equation is going to take the form mxy dx plus n of xy dy equal to zero. I'm going to call this form uh, equation three. So if we just clear fractions in equation two, and uh, bring everything to the one side so m and n are functions of m x and y now um sometimes it is possible uh to rearrange um algebraically equation number three uh, so that it looks as follows okay so if we bring all the x terms uh, to be next to the uh, dx and uh, bring all the y terms to be the coefficient of dy, um, then in that case, so if we can uh rearrange uh algebraically so we can go from three to let's call this one four uh by using algebraic uh manipulations um then the equation is called separable um, this process is called separation of variables okay so then uh, the ODE is called separable and uh, to find the solution then you simply have to integrate this term and integrate this term uh, and uh, then we'll have a solution. 
all right so let's uh, let's look at uh, uh, a few examples uh, actually we're going to look at uh, three examples the first two we'll do straight away and then the last one we're going to let you have a go at it before we uh, do it um, okay all right so uh, here are the examples we're going to have a go at um, so in each case we want to solve uh, the differential equation the first one is a uh, an initial value problem same as the third one uh, for the second one there is no condition given so we're just going to find the general solution so the um, the thing we're going to do is we're going to try and uh, first express each of the equations in the form of uh, what we call equation three and then we're going to see if we can bring it to equation four uh, through algebraic manipulations so let's start with uh, example one so we've got uh, x y prime plus y plus y squared equal to zero when x equals to two y is equal x equals negative 2y equals to 2. so the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to write this as dy dx here we're going to factorize that then if we multiply everything by dx we have uh, that um then you can see that we can bring all the y terms here and all the x terms there so that's exactly what we're going to do um so we're going to write this as dy over y into y plus one and uh, plus dx over x equal to zero and then this first one we can integrate by writing it uh, as partial fractions so we're going to resolve that into partial fractions um, if you are not up to speed with that you can check our videos on partial fractions um, this one is going to work out to 1 over y minus 1 over y plus 1 then integrating uh, with respect to y for this uh, first integral is going to give us uh, those two and uh, that one is going to be lin x and then this is going to be equal to a constant since all the terms are lean um, you're going to find it uh, useful to write this as lin k uh, at this point we are going to bring in the boundary or the initial condition so when x is 2 y is 2 so we're going to plug in to that equation and then that's going to tell us what k is so um, that term is going to be lin 2 this one is going to be lin 3 um excuse me and this one is going to be lin 2 because we're taking the absolute value of uh, x and then this is equal to lin k so um it's telling us that lin 4 over 3 is lin k so k is four thirds then we can come back and plug it in there so our equation we're just going to combine this into a single log using properties of logs so that's going to be lean of uh, magnitude of x y plus one plus y over one plus y is equals to lean of four thirds um, and then so this is going to give us x y 
over 1 plus y is magnitude of that is equal to 4 thirds and then if we remove the absolute value it's going to give us plus or minus 4 thirds okay so that to the end of uh, that uh, first one okay now we're going to go to b um, in uh, b we have uh, x plus e to the 2y plus x y prime equal to zero okay so again uh, if we write y prime as dy dx then if we multiply through by dx we're going to have x dx plus e to the 2y plus x dy is equal to zero then all that remains is to um, if we can move this term across to the rest of the x terms and of course since this is an exponential we can do that so when we do that this is going to be x e to the minus x dx plus e to the 2y dy equal to zero um, then we integrate um, so uh, to integrate that first one we're going to have to use the uh, table of integration or, or you can use integration by parts so uh, table of integration is a uh, uh, a uh, an abridged version of uh, integration by parts so if you just take the polynomial and differentiate it repeatedly and uh, take the exponential integrated repeatedly and then match them accordingly again uh, if you're not up to speed with this you can check our video on uh, uh, tabular integration so that means uh, that this first integral uh, so we just multiply these and add them so it's going to be negative x plus 1 e to the minus x integral of this one it's just going to be 1 half e to the 2y is equal to k so that is going to be the general solution of that uh, second um, ODE. I'm now going to give you a chance to have a go at this uh, third ODE here. Um, so if you just want to pause the video and have a go at uh, this uh, ODE, and then when you press play, then you can uh, compare your answer with our answer okay all right um we are now hoping that you've had a go at uh, example number c i'm now going to scroll down uh, to our solution if you still haven't uh, please uh, by all means uh, just pause the video and uh, have a go at it you benefit the most um, if you've uh, first tried this before you see our solution okay um, so here we go so yeah again first thing we're going to do is uh, uh, write y prime as dy dx then multiplying by dx uh, the dx comes to the right hand side uh, notice we've already factorized this um, and then if we bring all the y terms to the left hand side and then we've got the x terms on the right hand side now the y coefficient of dy here is a rational expression but it's improper because the order of the numerator is the same as the that of the denominator so what we could do here is uh, we could uh, use long division uh, 
division uh, in fact the arrow should be from here to there if you use long division then you should find that your quotient is one the remainder is negative one uh, but this one because it's simple we could just uh, use the technique of uh, um, first making this one uh, identical to the denominator so if say plus one uh, and then say minus one uh, and then write this as two fractions so 2y plus 1 over 2y plus 1 minus y over 2y plus 1 and then this of course is just 1 which is what we have there and then and now we're going to integrate so integral of 1 is y this one is going to be a natural log because of the 2 here uh, there's going to be a half and uh, integral of x is x squared on 2 then we apply the initial condition when x is 1 y is 0 so if plug in x is 1 here plug in y is 0 here and y is 0 there that gives us k is negative 1 half so we plug in negative 1 half there and rearrange ever so slightly and that is our final solution okay thank you for watching find this uh, these are useful please uh, do subscribe so that uh, you get uh, notified whenever we post um, new videos our next video in this series is going to be on homogeneous um, first order differential equations thank you